Welcome to part two of my laundry closet makeover. Part one, if you saw it in my last video, was of me painting my washer and dryer, which go right here and will be here again at the end of this video. But this video is making the rest of this look good. So what I have planned is um, I've got some peel and stick wallpaper, peel and stick tile, and a few other things and additions that I'm going to be doing. And I need to clean the cobwebs, which I did not see before, but oh, there are a lot in here. I always knew like this was an ugly closet, but once I took the wash and dryer out, they hit a lot and they've probably been here for Ever, for longer than I've been in the house. And it's disgusting. On a good note, uh, here's some money. Two dollars. But, um, I'm just gonna throw it all away, except the money. Also, that came off the back of my washer, dryer. Keep that. be the weird part of my project. Can I just put those back? It won't be as good. <laughs> so many cobwebs! I need a duster, not the broom. Get off. I don't like this. Yuck. Yuck! It's just stuck all over my broom and I'm grossed out. Whew. Next thing is just to paint the side walls white. And I'm using just a plain white satin that I already had that I've used on my furniture. I would normally use eggshell, but this is what I have and it doesn't matter. It's a closet. <laughs> coat of white paint on the sides to dry. It will need to. But in the meantime, I'll show you something else I'm going to be doing that I haven't talked about yet. And that's for the doors. You can see these handles right here. This one's okay, but like the hole is so big. I don't know what they did to do this. It's like they were always yanking it open in like the hardest way possible. I wanted to upgrade these a little, just in one simple way, and that is to upgrade the handles. And I need to fix them anyway because of the big holes, but um, I'm just gonna take these out, and then my other handles are different and won't go in the same spot, so I'm gonna put wood filler in them. Ugh. The screw heads are pretty stripped. Oh, how do I get 
get these out. Maybe a rubber band. Or, it does come out a little. Maybe I could grip it with pliers to make it stay still. Fine. I squished my finger. Okay, this probably won't do anything, but what if I put a piece of tape over the screw and then put this in? If you're looking for a hack, that's not it. I was turning it the wrong way. <sighs> One down. I just want to like pull it all the way through. Can I just? All right, this is my new plan. I'm just gonna pull it all the way through. Whatever. <laughs> The door is hollow on the inside, which is making this very difficult. But this is just a cosmetic makeover. So I just need to get enough of this. Hopefully this doesn't make it look very bad. I got two different options for what I'm gonna replace the handles with. The first option is this. It was unique and I liked it and I thought it'd be too small but I think that might work option two that is nice today I'm doing the wallpaper which I'm very nervous about and I don't foresee it going smoothly but here we are I watched a, a lot of videos looking for like tips and tricks and a lot of people were like it's easier if you have a second person and I was like so is everything uh, <laughs> but here we are first I have a wet rag cloth and I'm going to wipe down the walls because you want to make sure there's nothing <laughs> nothing on the wall because it needs as much to stick to and that needs to not be cobwebs and dirt. So I said wet rag and then I'll go back again with the dry one to try off the wall. I would recommend waiting a little bit before you proceed, because you just want the wall to be very dry when you're putting on peeling stick wallpaper. This, this is what I'm using. And can you picture the washer and dryer that I just painted mint green up against this? This is gonna be very hard to do on my own. I don't know how I'm going to do it. <laughs> okay, it's in a closet. It doesn't have to be perfect. This one has a white line on the edge. So it goes with the pattern, but it makes it to where apparently you don't have to line up anything. You can just start where you ended the last roll. And since there's a white line that's going to be in between everything, it's fine. I guess we'll see if that's true. I don't know how to do this. And I can barely reach the top of the wall. I cut the wallpaper so that it's a few inches longer than the height of my wall. So I have some excess to work with and I don't accidentally cut it too short. 
then you can just apparently exacto knife it off. If you don't want to do this, then. Whew. All right. All I want is for this to look okay and for me not to fall off this ladder. The only two things I ask for. You only want to peel back a little bit at a time. You don't want to peel back all of it. Here we go. If you're wondering what it might look like to put this up by yourself for the first time, I'm about to show you. <laughs> I don't want to do this. Whew. It's going to be great eventually. And to help smooth it down as you go, they say to get, I always forget the name of this when the time comes, scraper, a scraper thing. And I didn't want it to mess with my wallpaper, even though this is a plastic one, it would probably be fine. So I taped some paper towels to it. So it would be nicer. No point in worrying too soon. Worry when the time comes. Oh, that is not... <laughs> How in the world? Is this just really not... Sh is my wall really not straight? It just gets further and further away from the wall. <laughs> wallpaper. If you knew what you were doing, I think this would go great. What if this is just perfect? Not 
straight. The good news is that you can peel and stick this many times. And it seems fine. It's not perfect, but it's not bad. The nice thing about cutting around everything on the wall is that sometimes cutting is hard and it looks jagged and stupid, but when you, oh no. <laughs> I was gonna say when you put this back on it will cover it up, but Cut a little too high now, didn't I? Maybe if I cut like a sliver of. What if I put this right there? Shh. No one has to know. Okay. Not bad. Whatever. All right, wallpaper is done. I remember when I started, I was like, I can't wait to be done. And I'm done. It got better as I went along. You kind of learn as you go. And then the end last piece got a little bit more difficult again, but it's not bad. The floor looks horrible. So, I'm gonna do peel and stick tile over it. So I'm gonna vacuum it and then clean it with crud cutter so it's cleaning it and degreasing it, which is important. And then I'll plop these on. These are the tiles I decided on. I'm going to get these and kind of place them where they should be. Oh, very sticky. coming off nicely. That's good. I've read about some tiles where it's almost hard to get this back part off in one piece. Okay, my idea for cutting around this thing is to take a back sheet, place it on top, and then Trace where it is, cut it out. Why am I sticky? Oh, probably because of these things. Okay, and then if I take this, I cut it out, I cut it bigger. And about this, I can place it on the back of this. Um, 
decent. And I'm not looking to make this perfect. It's gonna be hidden behind the dryer anyway. So that should be fine. I'm not actually gonna put this one on this. But get off! even walls and floors, it throws everything off. And I don't have the brains and bandwidth to deal with it right now. So I'm just gonna see what happens. These were so much more difficult than I would have expected. I've watched videos and we were like, oh, just do this, blah, blah, blah. Just cut it to the right size. It's not easy. And I want to retile my guest bathroom, but now I'm like, maybe I shouldn't. Let's see if I can put this shelf back up. see a sneak peek of my, my dryer. Next thing I need to do is put actual doorknobs back on the doors. I didn't think about this before when I was buying them, but I was like, I want to put them right here, like in the middle of this section. It would look great. But with this being folding doors, you have to have the right leverage when they're closed to be able to make this section pop out. And I'm realizing I'll like push on the back of the door where I want to put it and where I want to put it won't do that. And so they'll look good, but they won't open my door. I'm going to play around with the handles some to see if I'm okay with putting it closer. This doesn't look great and it's not completely smooth and like the wood lines are gone but I'm gonna figure that out later so for now I'm just gonna put the new ones on 90 degrees Woo! oh I forgot it was hollow <laughs> that was easy I have one last project I want to do to pull all of this together and that is I wanted a tray type of thing to put on the shelf that I can like put everything together so it looks a little bit more neat and organized. I already have a tray that could work. It's not quite the color scheme I want but I'm gonna fix that. <laughs> The only part, once it's on the shelf, you're going to see is this. And so I'm going to paint this outside color to be the same color green as the washer and dryer. And I'm going to do that the same way that I did with the washer and dryer. So I'm going to sand it, prime it, paint it. Now it's free and I don't have to spend like 20 bucks on a tree. wanted to wait for this to dry for an hour so I decided I was gonna do a load of laundry because my washer and dryer were finally back where they were supposed to be plugged in it's been a bit since I could do laundry so I was like cool um, put a few things in there 
I turned it on and watched it for a bit because I was like, let's make sure we hooked you up correctly. And it was fine. And so I went to go watch TV and I came back out to do the color code on this. There's water everywhere. And that's a first for me and it was fun. Anyway, uh, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, okay, I am back. And it's the next day and everything is okay. I haven't fixed my washer yet. And there are a few places on my floor that look a little damaged, but whatever. For now, whatever. All I've left are final touches. I was gonna show you two things that I'm including that I bought for here to help. One thing is solely helpful. The other thing is a little unnecessary, but still helpful and cute. So the first thing I got was for my hair. It gets all clumped up and like sticks to all my clothes and I don't like it. So I got wool dryer balls and I think that will help. It's worth a shot. The other thing is for my lint because I don't have a trash can super close and instead of like taking the lint off and bringing it to the trash can to throw it away, I just put it on top of the dryer and it starts like piling up and it's gross and ugly. So I bought something to make it cute as I wait to throw it away. And it's this. And it's super cute metal tin that you just open up, put it in there. It's like a little mailbox for lint. On the back you can hang it. There's a strong magnet. You can stick it to your washer or dryer. I'm gonna put it up on my shelf and just sit it there. And then I will show you the final product. be my favorite room in the house now. Maybe laundry is now 5% more enjoyable and fun because it's so happy in here. Plus, I've never really minded laundry until last night when it flooded my house. <laughs> if you're curious about anything I used, like the paint, the handles, the wallpaper, the tile, any of that, I have them all linked down below in the description. I even have the handles that I didn't end up using just in case you wanted those. I like doing projects, but being done with them is just oh so nice. <laughs> There's never a time when I'm like, I wish I could keep doing this. <laughs> Thank you for coming and watching. I will see you next time. I could close myself in here. My knee is in the way. Close enough? Goodbye. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do this. Hold on. I'm moving my knee. Ah. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, goodness. It's been a long week. <laughs>